And after you feel dumb, that's when he mixes up his like his approach to the game. And that's a really good trait to have as a heavy player. And this was a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. This was a very bad I mean, look, I, I haven't really seen Johnny too much, so I can't say that he's not going to do okay here. I just think that taking Leon to FD, chaos. Because you definitely don't want to fight them on, like, too many platforms, sure. But Leon is so... Who, who jumped up Bs as a punish for a back air out of shield? Are you... That was actually very smart. I'm mad he got away with it, but that was cool. Oh, so close to the forward air. You, man, you know what? You know what? DK's ledge getups are ass. That was actually a pretty good play. Just put a couple F tilts out at ledge, bait the idea you're gonna get up attack or neutral get up to get through it, and then you just body him with down B. All right, Johnny with the back air. He's pretty much got Leon off the stage. I mean, Johnny is looking for something. It's literally, this is literally Godzilla versus King Kong at this moment in time. I'm hoping that Godzilla is the one that winning. Leon aside, gets the up smash before Leon has the chance to properly mash out. I mean, honestly, when it's two heavies on the screen, it almost feels like it's always even matchup just because of their weight and the knock oh. that they do to oh, each other. I, di I just realized something. We, for the first time in a long time, have a real- Oh my god, almost got the downer. We have an actual chance to see the live action stupid clip we see every two seconds that people recreate with Donkey Kong oh and my Bowser. God. Please no. Please you don't, know what? don't validate the people. You know what? I was gonna say, right, like, if it's Donkey Kong versus Bowser, then Bowser, I mean, if it's Godzilla versus King Kong, then Lin Leon just winning. But if if we go with the timeline of Twitter, nah, he loses. That's a command grab. <laughs> that, that's gonna buy you that stock. That's, oh, okay, good for it, so just because he knows that Johnny wanted to avoid probably going for a higher recovery, right? Because you don't want to get juggled. Mm-hmm. I mean, Ooh. you're you're definitely right about Leon for sure. Like he's definitely one of those players that he has great traits of definitely. When you pair that together with Bowser, that's why Leon just does so well with Bowser. Even in matchups you would normally see Bowser lose, but Johnny gets an excellent read, reading the directional air dodge towards the center stage, and now Leon gets a chance to definitely match that up even higher with that sacred Gemini percent that we're seeing right now. That was very smart too. You saw Johnny just kind of he threw out a back air and then jumped away. Every time you're any, anywhere near a Bowser shield, assume there's a possibility that they're gonna upbeat. Just make the assumption. It's a smart move. If you get hit, oh well. But if you bait it, nice big punish. This is going to be a jump. Actually, you already called out the jump. There we go. He's gonna force him off stage. Luckily for Johnny, he actually didn't get caught by the F tilt. Like he was a little bit out of position, but up tilt is gonna do it because DK's get up options are trash. Honestly, it's so hard to get off the ledge as Donkey Kong. Get up attack is not good. Um, like. It's easily his weakest point. If you, uh, Another thing to deal with when you're fighting Donkey Kong is force him at the ledge and learn how to deal with him there. The only thing you need to ever be scared of if you stand too close, you hold shield, and then they side B you. And that's not only reactable, but it's baitable. So yeah. that's uh, I think that's a big part of why Leon was doing so good. He stayed at roll distance because F tilt's super long. It's got stupid distance. It's really good. And I'm not too surprised that Leon won that first game, but Johnny actually did a really good job game one. Yeah, uh, all things considered, yeah, D DK is one of those characters that, like, he, on paper, loses a lot of matchups. But then every now and then you'll see DK get some momentum, and then it makes you really wonder, like, is this character really as bad as people seem? Honestly, at the end of the day, it just depends on the character trait. I think you said it really mm -hmm. well, Jax. Leon just having the traits that he has as a player goes hand in hand with DK. And there's a reason why Johnny is here, even in loser's quarters, going up against Leon. It's not necessarily on winner side, but hey, man, if you made it to top eight, there's a reason why you're holding the sticks in top eight for sure. And we'll see if Johnny thing has anything to do here. Get baits out that opportunity against Leon. And he gets the up air and the second one to boot as well. This is a mad. This is actually a stage where DK can actually get ding dong. Especially as well. And he reads the whole. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. That was just a straight up punish. Like, it, it, the, the best thing for, for uh, Johnny there is that every time Leon tried to do something on landing, command grab, or anything, he's just getting absolutely pushed back over and over. And that's what you have to do. Also, a thing with matchups with these char like characters like this is that even though, yeah, they have some bad matchups, the thing with heavies in this game is they rely on fear factor and good occasional offstage play because of the heavy kill power they have yeah. but still they just get through like they just get through so much purely based off the fact that they're never truly out of the game with what they could do to kill you and in this matchup they both invalidate that so it's heavily just based on who calls out disadvantage way more often 
All right, so far, Leon looking for the recovery. I mean, he didn't have to really look for the recovery. He pretty much had most of the control here, but it's even stocks. Leon gets a full cross up, no grab. Fortunately, but Johnny is looking for something. Call on him, what a great play from the forward smash. DK's arms are like swords, practically. I imagine. Actually, no, I don't want to imagine yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I don't <laughs> want to think about that. We, I mean, we don't, if we, you think about the range, though, it's like a sword. That, watch, two days from now, we're going to see somebody as modded DK's arms just to do, like, two swords. Do you guys remember <laughs> new, when somebody new modded... New sword fighter. Do you guys remember when somebody modded, like, Cloud's sword in Smash 4 to just be, like, almost the whole stage? Yeah, I'm responsible for, uh, unfortunately getting Meta Knight to get a Sephiroth like shield. That back air is great on landing. See, this, this is the thing about this matchup. Like, if you just, you call out the jump or you call out the air dodge, you're good. Like, I know that's, yeah. uh, like, that's the simplest thing, but still, just once you force that, it's so hard for them to touch the ground. It, it, even right there, uh, Leon, uh, Johnny knew down there, that's, that's going to be it. I could get a punish afterwards. Yeah, there's a lot of different habits that some players have in Whoa. general. Oh, the directional uh -oh. air dodge. That was good on Leon to try to get that grab there. Unfortunately, miss, missing the second grab, and then that down B is going to really send Leon towards the side of the stage. Watch yourself there. That was almost a call, but Leon <gasps> gets in there. He's, uh, he's, oh, he actually he got enough trades with the flame breath, and you're <laughs> dead. <laughs> uh, so, Leon could have won that game. Uh, yeah, but un unfortunately for him, the up B actually got through every single one of he uh, of the fire breath. Because if he forced them down just enough, he was going to be able to F tilt and call it and, and just close it right there. Um, something happened in there. Oh, so something that happened that they both have figured out that I'm wondering to see who, who figures it out first. Leon adjusted already to the fact that Johnny has been looking for the up B out of shield. He's been, he jumps on the back air and then he jumps away again to call him out, see what he does. Now Leon is answering that with a jump fair. So if he happens to catch that, he could do one of two things. A, use his fully charged car, uh, uh, punch to beat him out with armor frames, or B, fade away and then punish him on landing. The thing that Johnny is do, uh, uh, doing very well against Leon is ground slaps. He is not yeah. getting caught by a single grab or any grounded pressure out of shield from Leon, purely because he just keeps slapping the ground and Leon has done nothing so far to beat it. See right there, yeah. that time he tried it to up B because he figured he wasn't gonna like respect it, but Johnny is still consistently swinging once and then jumping away. So Leon is gonna figure out, oh, you're doing that every time. Yeah, what a good read there coming out from Johnny. Just being able to catch Leon on the downer and then punish him for it. Now Leon a little bit on the receiving end. Johnny definitely off to a strong start here in game three. Leon, I like this from Leon though. He's taking a slow pace. He's trying to see how Johnny you, has been oh, playing yeah. a little bit more and punish him for his habits. Like you said, what a parry and what up ooh. immediately to punish that as soon as possible. Has a healthy shield to definitely oh. avoid that punch. Uh oh. So something that Leon is starting to figure out uh, that that I didn't notice if if Johnny was gonna do. See, look there it is again. That time Leon actually chased him out. He uh, Johnny has consistently gone for like three oh. options. Oh! If he caught him with that, I would have lost it. You're dead. Yeah, uh, that would have been clean if you wave land grab. So, uh, chat, pay attention to something that Johnny's been doing. He consistently, whenever he's at, uh, has Bowser at kill percent, he steps away about a character length or two, and then he throws out hitboxes. Now, another thing he does, especially near the platform, if he has uh, Leon cornered, is he likes to be reverse cargo punch or bait it as a grab. Yeah. Leon is not falling for it anymore. That's going to be huge if Johnny doesn't figure out how to deal with that. Exactly. I think Leon has made a lot of adaptations so far against Johnny. Even though you're seeing the stock deficit between the two, it's just a few interactions away from mm -hmm. Leon definitely catching up. He gets the forward tilt. Flame breath, flame throw is going to come out. Nothing to be found, but look at the spacing that we're seeing here from Leon. <laughs> yeah, and you're dead because you know what? DK recovery plan is the worst insurance plan you can ever apply for. Yeah, and that wasn't even necessarily... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> try, try, trying, to, trying to get some mix-ups there. So... It wasn't necessarily a bad idea to go for... See right there, he fades away when he has met kill percent and he throws out hitboxes. Leon is caught up to that. Uh, you're dead, though. Oh, actually, never mind. That is Bowser and Kalos. But something that... Jo oh, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Leon is there. Man grab. I still like the fact that Johnny has a lead, but Leon is starting to slowly catch on. The only thing that DK has, at le uh, that Johnny at least has going for him is that Leon is still at kill percent, so he has to give him the respect. You're dead again. Yeah. That cargo, man, I feel like the hard, I mean, it's higher percent, so it's harder to mash out. But I feel like in general, even at low percent, it's just so hard to mash out a cargo throw at times. You have to really break the control stick. But nonetheless, here, uh, let's see if Leon doesn't have to break his control stick. After the back air, no slot taking here, and he's going to read that. Yeah, that's going to be a All quick right, down smash. That 
Good job. A lot of people will run in and do something too quick right there, and they will miss the optimal punish. That has a lot of end lag. You want to punish that properly. Exactly. Uh, and even, like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we're so lucky. <laughs> All right. I want to say I really want to see Johnny mix that up. He is he's constantly going for that fadeaway forward smash, and right there he's caught him on air dodge. I like that he air dodged the last two interactions prior to that. That time Leon didn't budge, but DK he still followed him. This this is Johnny's game to lose right now. Even though Bowser, if he, oh, I mean if you air dodge in like that and you get caught on this jump, oh you're so oh, you're so lucky you didn't get hit by that. You see, you have the oh yeah, your hurtbox is still out there, and then of course Johnny with the up smash clap, moving up two one mm -hmm. against Leon. Jesus. Yeah, I I really I I like Johnny's play. Like it's it's good to like. I want I want I want chat to look at this a little different, right? Like uh, something that got me in this mood is because I saw everybody kind of going in about the whole nest thing online, right? Same stage actually from Smash World Tour. Yeah, there are mashy players. That That is true. But if it's option coverage, you need to learn the difference between where it's option coverage and mashing. mashing because if, yeah. you're, it, yeah, if you're putting out hitboxes, right? As a general, I don't want this heavy to get near me. And they now they're holding shield. That makes your grabs and that makes your zoning tactics much better. It makes it easier for you to get in on them. So yeah, mashing can be anno annoying. The key on how to beat that is look for the pattern of how they do it. If they're constantly going for jump fair into like a nair, fade away or something like that, look for the gap. Look for when they uh, fully jump because there is end lag at the end of that. You can deal with it. Yeah, you can. I think we talked about this last week, right? Where we talked about how buttons in video games and just fighting games in general do more as opposed to way back in the day where you press a button you only get one move coming yeah. into ultimate and even games like for example dragon ball fighters pressing the same button does more you're you have good buttons compared to way back in the day in fighting games that's why yeah. people call it mashing oh well, honestly at the end of the day it's just having good buttons but the only good buttons we're seeing are the ones coming out from johnny because leon's at 123 already at game four looking really rough for him now that's oh, your the dad yeah you're dead you're dead you're dead yeah, Johnny has done a great job of starting to change up what we were seeing him do before. He was kind of controlling the landings and just like waiting for air dodges. Now he's just going after Leon because Leon has it in his mind that he wants to actively wait for him. And now he's just challenging him, which makes it so Leon waiting to do his jump, being a good player, is getting punished. That was good. That was oh, good. Yeah. good coverage. That, uh, that was such a, such a wide range. Like you have to really respect it because if you go for a roll and with the way that Leon had spaced himself, you could cover neutral getup and then roll getup as well. Mhm. Mm yeah. Like and also it has the grounded hitbox afterwards. So if somebody missed times their roll, they're not punishing you for it. They, oh my God! Oh. That down beat. You are a damn madman landing directly on top. And you're dead. You're dead. That move is so damn strong. And he was fading away, trying to get away from him. So his DI was not in favor of that. That was a crucial stock for Leon. It, I was gonna say, man, but you took the words right out of my mouth. Speaking of crucial stocks here, Johnny back on the board here even stocks 50 percent separating the two but you know how both of these players are anything can happen in a few interactions can either give johnny the w or it'll put leon at game five but there's the up out of shield punish there no pivot grab the one thing that i'm liking from leon is he's looking to call out johnny's landing habits because you said it pretty well ajax look at that landing <laughs> habit he's been going for directional air dodge every time and leon puts out the game five all right. Also, chat. Whose mic is that? Is that mine? Because I can lower it. Uh, just let me know. No, so, actually, you, you're fine. I can actually lower it from here with the miracle of uh, no, Elgato. No, 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 no. It's all good. You don't need to adjust it. Um, I, I could always do that. But I'm trying to get it perfectly. How are we sounding now? We sounding good? Am I sounding good to you? I, am I am I putting you to sweet sleeps or am I keeping you wide awake and getting you yelled at because you were staying up too late? Really, I haven't heard any peeking, okay. but maybe the chat here is something different than me. Okay, yeah. So that uh, that that's that's what I was talking about pre-copying on here. I've been trying to work on the fact that it peaks a lot because I get really into it. I, I, I'm just a big fan on the mic. You already know this. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And yeah. I, this, this, I Ajax, this is this is why we love <laughs> so. you. This is this is why we've been giving you. This is why we're bringing you back every week, bro. We, we wouldn't have you here if we didn't love you. We love you that much. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody. I love everything. Honestly, it's, it's just a lot of fun. Like we're, like I like I said, I try, I try to teach stuff. I also like to be a goon, and I like to call people out on. I I, I actively will never validate negative behavior. So if if your only idea is to complain about a matchup, and you can't explain to me why you're losing that matchup, I I, I don't care. That's but if I can teach you something, 
yeah, if I could teach you something, then yeah, absolutely. Uh, but <laughs> at, the end of the, if, at the end of the day, it really comes, sometimes matchups like these just come down to the age old thing of don't get hit. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely one of those matchups you can easily say, don't get hit. Oh, exactly. no, the oh, oh my god. Hard call out. That one was an actual call out. He consistently has put himself in that position, but he usually only swings right away. That time, he waited. He knew that Liam was going to approach, and he was safe enough that he wouldn't die afterwards. And that oh. downbeat is so good in this matchup. Yeah, the way that Johnny had gone for downbeat and then walked away, looked for a little bit of reaction from Leon. That's what it's come down to. Up smash, that's going to be still alive. It is Town and City. That's what I'm liking about both players. They look to see how each other is going to react on their landing habits, especially mm -hmm. every time we see one of them try to land. But unfortunately, Johnny will run out of height there on the DK helicopter. Oh, you better watch your shield. Yeah, you actively have to move after there after he baits you out a few times. Watch your ledge get up too. He's consistently called it out with F tilt. That's a good punish. Oh, that's a stop. Oh, that oh, was just a rematch. Oh, no. Wrong. <laughs> wrong direction. So in that situation, it's easier to, you know, in hindsight, it's 2020. But air dodging in sets you up for the KO. If you roll away, you take a dash attack, you don't die. So that's unfortunate for Leon. But he waited for the landing again. That's the jump loss. And good job from Johnny fading away on the right call. Because if he landed, like, if he went off to the right, he would have had to swing with a hitbox. He probably would have been punished. <laughs> that platform came in clutch. If that platform wasn't there, he was taking a lot of damage. Oh! Yeah. Beats out, the sp beats out the spot dodge there. Slowly, Leon coming back here. Down there was a lot of commitment here. And you can tell that Johnny will go for that cargo up throw up there. Even on Town and City, it's dangerous right. to get hit by that. Bro, I don't trust either of these players on a platform. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't that, trust either that, of these characters on a platform. Yo, for real, like, th that down air could have, like, just done so much to Leon. He's lucky he got away. Uh, Johnny was lucky that he didn't get hit by the shield uh, of that down me before. That's it. Go all the way That's off stage. It. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead with Town and City. That is a 3-2 victory going to Johnny over Leon. Uh, impressive at that too because as good as Donkey Kong has been proving to be of late, Bowser is the best heavy in the game. However, if 